Okay, we're going to talk about an Australian icon, and it's not these catalogues. Yeah, they're catalogues. Uh, there's a river down there. But I want to talk about the Alvi reels, which are an Australian icon. And this is the deep sea winch I want to talk about. This is the Sea Queen, it's the second largest, I think, in the range. It's a bigger one, Sea King. Alvi built things that could take all sorts of punishment, but their engineering wasn't uh, as precise as uh, the space shuttle. And what happens is that the reels, when they turn around, you can probably see uh, wobbling side to side, but these, uh, the diameters were, or the radius of different parts, were out by about a millimeter or two. Now, what that meant was that the uh, line could jump away from this uh, spacer or this uh, line guard from here to the outside and then tangle up here just at the worst possible time. And no matter how hard you try to adjust these uh, factory line guards, you couldn't get it right because it, it would wobble by about a millimetre. There'd be a high spot and a low spot like this. Wobble, wobble, wobble. And the more you try it uh, to tighten it, uh, all that happens is you end up stripping, uh, stripping the, uh, the threads, which I've done on all of these factory items. So I'm sitting here thinking, uh, got to be a better way. Not that I'd like to pit my skills against uh, Mr. Alvey's wonderful team. I thought I'd have a go. So, and there were three problems. One was the height problem. Uh, one was the fact that uh, because there are two lips, you're always fighting against each other to get the right compromise. So what I've come up with is a bit of a change in this design, uh, which goes along the lines of every uh, point, and there are four, one, two, three, four, every point gets its own adjustment line guard. Starting here with a simple uh, bolt and lock uh, nut. Now that doesn't uh, mean we can't link them together. We can with a bit of uh, hose. You can go from one side to the other, as I've done down here, one side to the other. But each one is adjustable independently because these lips are not going to be the same height. Not only are the, uh, the radius uh, at one point different from the radius at another point, uh, there's another factor that this is different from that. So this allows us at least uh, an independent way of adjusting the height. Now, to get over the problem of the asymmetry of the circumference, or the radius, uh, that was actually quite uh, an interesting challenge. Not for an engineer, but for a, a scientist, which I am, that would be a, an academic scientist, that would be an interesting challenge. What I come up with was to put a wedge like this in here, put a bit of sandpaper on, and I think you can understand what I did next. And then it's really a simple matter of rotating it. Now this was really horribly out of whack, probably up to two mil, and patiently, Slowly, I've ground that down now. Doesn't sound so good. Uh, oh yes, I know what doesn't sound so good. So down now we can see that actually, it's still maybe out by a little, uh, maybe a half a mil. Bit of a. So I probably can have a bit more of a. Um, a bit more fine tuning till we get it flush. This one here on the other side is pretty good. And the gap is certainly uh, too small now to allow this line to pass under and wrap around the gearing and so forth. I'm about to uh, finalize the job. And this is what happens. I just get a simple lock nut on a bolt. One here, one there, and with the hose between them. And you can see I'm not too far off plumb. Probably there's a yeah, because that's spinning nicely, that bolt. 
and making that horrible noise but it shows that I've come probably very close into true and certainly enough to make it functional without the line at the worst possible time when you're dealing with a big fish jumping uh, from here out to here and then wrapping around wrapping around the gears. Now maybe uh, there are other ways of doing this adjustment that I'm not uh, familiar with maybe it's because I had at one stage mono a little bit of mono on here a couple of hundred meters as opposed to the 300 pound braid maybe there's a little bit of um, distortion of induced in, into the wheel a bit of a high spot there one one little high spot left which I'm going to set it at because I can take that high spot down Very close. We're we getting there. We've got now this independent piece. We're now independent of this from that. Second, I've trimmed this down. Third, I've been able to uh, repair the stripped bolt and the stripped nut just by any sort of stainless steel material. So I didn't have to go back and re-manufacture the whole uh, the whole um, original apparatus. It remains to be seen whether my hose will be as good as the multi-purpose non-toxic hose in fishing conditions but provided there's no wear no real touching it should just do its job as a line guard or a line um, put, uh, holder and that looks pretty good up there there's a bit of side to side movement i'm not sure where that's coming from uh, but i think we're, we're nearly there came from. I can highly recommend this. This is very nice. Um, two birds and uh, enough uh, alcohol to really help you align difficult things. We'll just get it approximately semi-tight. Voila. Look, it will come through, and it's supposed to come through like dental floss. This one doesn't seem to want to come through, so that's all good. Yeah. Yep, I think that's very, and it's free. Um, Alvi, of course, have gone out of business now. Bless their souls. They did a wonderful contribution to Australia and Australian fishermen, and they'll be well remembered, and their gear as a legacy to their design will last for a generation and it's worth repairing these things it may be that i could have got these things from alvi or i could have gone to the bolt shop and got this and that and put it on but i think uh this is a a, a way i think it's uh addressed some of the um let's say the robust design issues of the alvi deck winch and the other thing is that I rarely use the deck winch. It's usually when I come across a spot I keep getting beaten up on. And uh, it needs some, uh, fish need a little bit more persuasion than my uh, regular 30 pound fishing gear provides. That's it. Maniac. Catalogs are so impressed with my work. So, two Australian icons the Alvi Reel, uh, renovated without clunky, clunky, clunky. And I've done my good deed for Australiana today.